in quantum dynamics till now we have discussed the schrodinger picture now the another important picture of quantum dynamics is heisenberg picture in fact in heisenberg picture the situation is just opposite to the schrodinger picture you have seen in the schrodinger picture the state variable the state function is actually time dependent while the operator corresponding to an observable is independent of time but in schrodinger picture you know you have seen in the introduction that in this case actually the state function of the system is independent of time while the operator corresponding to an observable <coughs> is time dependent so to deal with this uh, heisenberg picture let us consider that uh, the state vector in heisenberg picture is denoted by the symbol psi h in fact for convenience i have uh, written here the subscript psi h, uh, h here so that it will be clear that this state vector is in the schrodinger picture and similarly for convenience we denote the operator by the symbol a hat h h again denotes the heisenberg picture so this is just a the notation for your convenience and as i have told you that in this heisenberg picture psi h is independent of time so you say that psi h is not equal to psi h of t but the operator a h hat is time dependent so we have written here that a h hat is equal to a h hat of t but uh, in what manner we will define the state vector in schrodinger picture so that it will be time independent you can see here let us consider that uh, this psi of t is the state vector in the schrodinger picture are you getting the things this psi of t i have not written here s but remember this psi of t is the state vector in schrodinger picture so if you define the state vector psi h of t in uh, heisenberg picture by this equation one that is when uh, we define this psi h as u hat inverse t t naught psi of t then you will see that this uh, psi h will be independent of time actually according to this equation one i have considered that this psi h is the state vector in heisenberg picture at any time t but you will see if this psi h of t will be defined by this equation one then we find that actually this psi h of t and psi h of t naught that is the initial value of psi h and the final value of psi h will be same so if you want to take this psi h in a particular form so that it will be independent of time you must define this psi h of t in the manner which i have defined here in this equation one and you can test it let us see if we define this psi h of t by this equation one then what will happen you can see here psi h of t you can see it is defined like uh, u hat inverse t t naught psi of t but uh, as i have told you that this psi of t is what this is the state vector in schrodinger picture and uh, this is actually time dependent and you have seen in the schrodinger picture how this psi of t uh, is uh, related to the <coughs> time evolution operator you have seen that this psi of t is actually equal to this much uh, in fact this thing we have studied already in schrodinger picture and i will suggest you before going through this video you must watch seriously the schrodinger picture because you will find at several places that in this lecture i have made calculation to uh, uh, sorter to some extent because uh, uh, the same calculation i have done in detail in schrodinger picture so here i have actually followed a shortcut method and for that 
uh, you should see the video on Schrodinger picture and then that will be uh, clear to you and you should try it to derive the result to where, where, wherever I have uh, dropped the uh, steps you should try it yourself because you have already seen those things in the Schrodinger picture so in Schrodinger picture we have seen that the state vector in Schrodinger picture psi of t is defined like this this is u hat t t naught psi t naught actually psi t naught denote the uh, state vector in Schrodinger picture at initial time t naught and when this time evolution operator u hat is operated on this psi of t naught then you have seen in the Schrodinger picture that this is equal to psi of t so instead of this psi of t here I have written this u hat t t naught psi of t naught now uh, see this u hat inverse t t naught and times u hat t t naught you know actually this u hat inverse this is nothing uh, this is u hat inverse this is nothing this is simply the Hermitian adjoint of this operator and you know when Hermitian adjoint of an operator is multiplied by the operator the operator becomes the unit operator one hat so actually this product u inverse tt naught and u tt naught that will be equal to 1 so this result is simply psi h of t equal to psi of t naught so what you are seeing here you can see that the state vectors in heisenberg picture that is psi h at any time t is same as that at time t naught so it means uh, that this state vector is independent of time and that's why I have told you earlier that if you define the state vector in Schrodinger picture by this equation 1 which I have defined here then you will see that this state vector is independent of time. So now I hope you it is clear to you that uh, in, in the Heisenberg picture the state vector is independent of time and for its independence we must define this psi h of t by this equation 1 is it clear to you now you can see that this operator that is the time evolution operator u hat t t naught actually it is a unitary operator and so this equation 1 you can see here this is just a unitary transformation and this is just a change of basis that is a, we have actually changed the basis from Schrodinger picture to the Heisenberg picture in vector space now uh, in Schrodinger picture uh, we denote the operator corresponding to an observable by a hat although uh, in the in that lecture I have denoted it by a s but here I am dropping the superscript S here and you should note that this A hat is the operator in the Schrodinger picture and corresponding to this operator in uh, Schrodinger picture we have considered that this A hat H is the operator in Heisenberg picture. So in this condition these two operators that is the operator in the Schrodinger picture that is a hat and operator in the Heisenberg picture a h hat both are related by this equation a h hat of t this is equal to u inverse t t naught a hat u hat t t naught and uh, as I have told you earlier this u hat inverse is nothing this is simply the Hermitian adjoint of u hat so I have written here this u hat dagger uh, u hat dagger t t naught a hat u hat t t naught now to find the equation of motion in this case since psi is not a function of time so in this case we obtain the equation of motion in terms of this is a time dependent operator and for that we will simply differentiate this uh, a h hat 
with respect to T. Keeping in the mind that uh, the so the operator a hat which is operator or in the schrodinger picture it is it is independent of time you must keep it in mind here a h hat is time dependent because it is operator in heisenberg picture but this a hat is time independent since it is the operator in schrodinger picture and you have seen in schrodinger picture we take the uh, operator time independent so when you will differentiate this uh, a hat h with respect to t what will be your result you can see here here a should be taken time independent so this will be first of all we will differentiate this u hat dagger and keep the other two factors at is and then we will differentiate this u hat and the other two things at is so this will be simply del u hat by del t a hat u you can see here and plus u dagger a hat del u by del t you can see now what will be the value of this del u dagger del t and del u by del t in fact what will be values of this you have already seen in the lecture on schrodinger picture so i have mentioned it here directly but you can see uh, the video on schrodinger picture and there you will find how this del u by del t is equal to minus i h bar h hat u actually this h hat is the hamiltonian you know and uh, so for proof of this equation 5 you should again watch the video on schrodinger picture where you will find the proof of this and if del u hat by del t is minus i h bar h hat del uh, h hat u hat then what will be this del u hat dagger by del t since it u hat dagger means this is just the bra vector so here we must take actually take the complex conjugate of this and so the complex when you will take complex conjugate this minus i will become plus i and the order of these operators will be just interchange then there will be u dagger h hat so in this way on the basis of the theory which we have discussed in the schrodinger picture i have directly written here what will be the values of del u by del t and del u dagger by del t you should note it now we will simply substitute the values of these two in this equation that is equation number four you can see here instead of this u del u dagger by del t and del u by del t we will put these results which we have defined here so you can see d a h hat by d t will be equal to i by h bar since i by h bar is a common factor so you should take it as a common and then the remaining terms will be what you can see uh, in fact uh, here uh, there is del u dagger uh, del t and instead of del u dagger del t we will write this much and we have taken i by h bar as a common factor so the remaining term is what this is u hat dagger h hat so this is your u hat dagger h hat and here already there is a hat u so i have written here a hat u hat and minus there is u dagger a hat and so this is u hat dagger a hat and instead of this del u by del t we should write this much and i by h bar has been taken common so the remaining factor is h hat u hat so you can see here is h hat u hat now you know that uh, u hat u dagger is equal to a unit operator that is one so uh, you can write this expression like this because the 
this operator u u dagger will not make any change so you can see i have written this expression uh, in uh, here in this way only uh, we have written here u hat u hat dagger also in the second term u hat u hat dagger but this does not make any difference because this u hat u dagger is equal to one hat but now uh, see this equation this equation three you can see a h hat is equal to u dagger hat a hat u simply you can say without writing this these arguments you can say that this a hat h is equal to what this is u hat dagger a hat u a hat u so you can see here what will be this factor u dagger h hat u this can be written as h h hat and similarly u dagger a hat u hat this will be written as a hat h again u dagger a a u this will be written as a h i am not uh, uh, speaking uh, repeatedly hat but uh, there is hat on on all of the symbol of operator and again this u dagger h u u this will be actually h h these things have been written on the basis of this equation 3 you can see here now let us take the minus sign as a common factor so when you will take minus as a common factor this negative term will become positive now and this positive term will now become negative and this minus 1 minus i can be written as 1 over i because you know minus i is equal to 1 over i so and in this bracket what is this you can see this is nothing this is commutator of the operators ah and hh hh is actually the hamiltonian in heisenberg picture so you can see this equation may be written as dah by dt equal to 1 over ih bar commutator of ah and hh actually this is the equation of motion when ah is not an explicit function of time in heisenberg picture this is equation of motion in heisenberg picture but when when this operator ah is not an explicit function of time explicit function of time explicit function of time okay now let us consider that uh, this uh, a a is explicitly time dependent actually when uh, a will explicitly dependent on time or you can say ah will explicitly time dependent actually in that condition what will be the equation of motion i am writing this equation of motion directly here because uh, <coughs> not ah but you should write a not ah when a is not an explicit function of time but if a hat is an explicit function of time 
or you can say a hat depends explicitly on time explicit function of explicit function of time then in the light of result which you have seen in the schrodinger picture i am writing here directly this uh, equation of motion but i will suggest you you must go through all the steps with the help of video on schrodinger picture you will find the detailed calculation there and as i have told you earlier that in this lecture uh, for uh, <coughs> since i have already done these things in schrodinger picture so i have made here some short calculation so i write i, I am just going to write the direct expression when a will be an explicit function of time then what will be the equation of motion so you can write this del a hat h by del t this will be equal to del a hat h by del t plus 1 over i h bar a h hat h h hat commutator of this this is equation a2 this is also the equation of motion in heisenberg picture but uh, when you consider that a is an explicit function of time so this is equation of motion in equation of motion in Heisenberg picture Heisenberg picture 2 in case of the explicit dependence of A on in fact, uh, you can see that these equations are identical in form to the Hamilton's equation of motion for a dynamical variable in classical mechanics. You have seen uh, for any dynamical variable, uh, let us say A, A is now a dynamical variable, then you have seen uh, in the introduction that in classical mechanics we write down the equation of motion like this this is dA by dt equal to del A by del t plus plus Poisson bracket of A and H. You can see, you can compare these two equations that in case of classical mechanics instead of operator there is dynamical variable a is actually here a dynamical variable dynamical variable and instead of this commutator bracket you can see there is Poisson bracket what is this this is actually Poisson bracket Poisson bracket so actually the equation of motion in uh, Heisenberg picture agrees with the Hamilton's equation of motion for a dynamical variable in classical mechanics uh, and you can mark the difference that only difference is that uh, that at the place of Poisson bracket in the uh, classical mechanics there is actually the commutator bracket in case of uh, this Heisenberg picture or in case of quantum mechanics you can see here this is only the difference but the form of the equation of equation of motion in both cases are same so you can say that this Heisenberg picture is just analogous to the Hamiltonian equation of motion of classical mechanics and you have seen these things uh, earlier too now we will see actually the equation of motion for the expectation value of the operator you have also seen these things in case of uh, schrodinger picture and so like schrodinger picture here we will again find the equation of motion 
for the expectation value of the operator. So, equation of motion in terms of expectation value of operator a h hat and again uh, i will make the calculation in shorter form and for detail calculation i will again saying you uh, i am again saying you you must watch my video on schrodinger picture where you will uh, see the detail calculation and uh, you should try yourself so since once i have calculated these things in very detail so here i am just uh, referring the results uh, not going into the rigorous calculation or rigorous uh, <coughs> computation so you can see uh, again in this case when you will try to write the equation of motion in terms of expectation value of a operator a h hat there will be actually two cases in first case when you will see that uh, this uh, operator will not depend on uh, uh, time explicitly and the another in another case you will see that this ah will depend explicitly on time actually here i have written uh, ah 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 is right ah is not an explicit function of time you should note it see here so there will be two cases again first one is when a h hat is not explicitly time dependent explicitly time dependent when you say that uh, it is not explicitly time dependent what does it mean it means in this case actually del a h del a h by del t is equal to 0 but if it is an explicit function of time then this del a h by del t is not 0 so uh, what will be the equation of motion uh, for the expectation value of this a h hat when it is not an explicit function of time you can see easily in fact uh, we will write now d dt expectation value of a h hat you know this symbol this is expectation value of a h hat and uh, so you can write this will be d dt and uh, expectation value of a h hat you know how it is defined you know that in case of the normalized eigen vector this uh, the expectation value of this operator a h hat will be defined at this is bra psi h a h hat kate psi h kate psi h and since in the Heisenberg picture this psi h is independent of time so this operator d dt will be operated on this a h hat, a h hat because a h hat is time dependent so you can write this as psi h d a h hat by dt psi h and now uh, I am not doing the uh, a lot of algebra. All those things have been already discussed in Schrodinger picture. So I I am dropping some of the steps here. But I I suggest you you should go through my lecture on Schrodinger picture and see the steps. And then you will see after simply after the simplification of this result, we get the equation of motion in terms of the expectation value of this operator so this is just a homework for you with the help of video on schrodinger picture you should do it 
and so I am just writing it directly. So this will be d dt expectation value of a h hat. This will be simply one over i h bar, and commutator expectation value of one over i h bar commutator of a h hat and h h hat h h hat this is nothing this is simply the hamiltonian in the heisenberg picture and say this is equation a3 this is the equation of motion in terms of expectation value of the operator when this operator is not an explicit function of time and when you will consider that this operator is explicitly time dependent then the expectation value of del a h by del t will be added as you know so uh, again i am writing that result directly here so you can see that if a h hat a h hat depends explicitly on time then you can see what will be the equation of motion this will be d dt expectation value of a h hat and this will be expectation value of del a h hat by del t and plus expectation value of 1 over i h bar and commutator of a h hat and h h hat this is actually the equation of motion in terms of the operator when the operator is explicitly time dependent in fact uh, you can compare the equation of motion in terms of the operator and in terms of the expectation value of operator it is very easy to uh, remember it you can see the form of equation a1 and a3 see the equation a3 a3 are exactly same only the difference is what instead of a h hat you have to write now the expectation value so the equation remains same uh, but here in this case we have to take the expectation value so there is no uh, problem to remember these two type of equations you can easily uh, remember it now you can see that the equation of motion for the expectation values in the heisenberg picture and the schrodinger picture are same not different in both cases equation of motion are same so the equation of motion in Heisenberg picture and the Schrodinger picture Schrodinger picture are same in terms of operator there is no difference uh, in the equation of motion in the two pictures actually the basic equation of motion in schrodinger picture emphasizes the hamilton jacobi theory of classical mechanics but in the heisenberg picture the emphasis is on hamilton's formalism of classical mechanics you should mark the difference that in schrodinger picture the emphasis is on hj theory Schrodinger picture SP means Schrodinger picture and in this case emphasis is on HJ theory of uh, classical mechanics 
हैमिल्टन जेकोवी थियोरी ऑफ क्लासिकल सी एम एंड क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स एंड इन हाइजनबर्ग पिक्चर एच पी मीन्स हाइजनबर्ग पिक्चर द इम्फेसिस इज ऑन द हेमिल्टन्स फॉर्मिलिजम ऑफ क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स हेमिल्टन्स फॉर्मिलिजम फॉर्मिलिजम ऑफ क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स दिस इज ओनली द बेसिक डिफरेंस and again you know that in heisenberg picture emphasis is on the physical observable not the state vector but in schrodinger picture it is the uh, it is the <coughs> eigen vector or it is the state vector on which the emphasis is made so this is these are the basic differences but you will again see when we will discuss actually in an application part you will see that both of these pictures give the same result in any physical problem so i hope you have understand the heisenberg picture and as i have suggested you for rigorous calculation you must watch the video on schrodinger picture of myself and here so i have already discussed these things in very detail in schrodinger picture so i have made the calculations uh, shorter to some extent uh, so if you want to go through the detailed calculation you should do it after the after watching the video of schrodinger picture